Welcome to the Myland. No, this isn't the tale of two bagels, but we will get to that a bit later. This is the story of a neighborhood that evolved from an immigrant working class district to one of the hippest places in the world, where celebrated writer Mordecai Richler got his inspiration. Although its boundaries are still under debate, the Mile End is considered part of the plateau, stretching from Mont Royal Avenue north to Van Horn and from Saint Laurent on the east and Park Avenue on the west. And the corner of Saint Laurent and Mont Royal is where it started, where the uh, Mile End Tavern was set up in 1810. Um, where the Mile End Racetrack existed during the 18s and 1820s. So how did this pave the way for a booming hub of musicians, artists, foodies and cycling enthusiasts? Mile End is great because of the uh, number of startups, great coffee, great food um, and great local atmosphere. Perhaps the best symbol of its transition is right here on the corner of Saint Laurent and Saint Viatar. The Peck Building is where waves of Jewish, Italian, Greek and Portuguese immigrants spent decades working in its clothing factory. But in the 80s and 90s, the textile industry began to fade, causing many to move away. And that um, former space then was good loft space that was, um, that was used then by artists, um, by dance studios, yoga studios, and some professional offices. That's when Ubisoft set up shop in 1997. Today, it's the biggest employer in the plateau with nearly 3,000 workers. Um, and they have a big impact on my land, obviously, because that brings so many people with good salaries into the neighborhood, it puts a little bit of pressure on the rents. Gentrification is something the Mile End continues to struggle with. The Mile End is not free of problems and issues, and uh, it's, a, it's always a fight, and we have to find out a way to keep it the way it is. I think the most important thing is that we have people who put roots down in the neighborhood, who like it, who want to stay for a while, who invest in it, who take care of it, um, that it's not subject just to trends. The fear is that history will repeat itself and young families will run off to the suburbs, but this mom says she isn't going anywhere. You can walk to everything. You don't need to get in a car and drive to a big box store to raise a family here, and that's really nice. You know your grocer, you know your florist, um, and it's, it's really lovely. And everybody knows Tammy Lau. The bird cages that frame her shop have become a fixture on Bernard and Waverly. For over 25 years, she's been taking care of her flowers and watching the neighborhood blossom. And she says it's the people here who feed her energy. It's not the money, it's the kiss and smile. Bonjour, bonjour. Whatever time of the day you walk by, she'll be here in her shop. Everybody needs flower. Anybody uh, upset, depressed, when they have nice flower, they forgot the hard tie, they forgot the painful, make their life a big difference. The neighborhood may be changing, but the remnants of its immigrant past are still present. Walk into Cafe Olimpico and you'll be sure to hear a plethora of languages. All, the, all my friends are here and uh, we just get together and uh, you know, just sit and talk nonsense, actually. It's peaceful. Uh, it's lovely. It's ethnic. Uh, entertaining somehow. And uh, after all these years, uh, we remain here. And it's the people who make up today's fabric of the Mile End. As for the future of the neighborhood, Borough Mayor Luke Ferrandez says there's still a lot of work to do, like controlling the traffic. I want to see grandmothers, old people walking. I want to see kids playing on the sidewalk. This makes a big difference. Noise, noise, security, this makes a huge difference. So that locals and tourists can continue to enjoy the charms of the Mile End and choose their side in the Battle of the Bagels. Well, they pretty much look the same, and most people say they can't even tell the difference in taste. So why not enjoy both? For BT in the City, I'm Alia Adam in the Mile End.